The vehicle was left on the A4, the main route to Vienna, near Austria's eastern border with Hungary. It has been there since at least Wednesday, but was not discovered until Thursday morning. The EU must do more to help the plight of refugees trying to reach Europe, according to Amnesty International. The rights group says more air and sea rescues are necessary. Austrian police say the victims had been dead for some time and the bodies had begun to decompose. Mm, my brother is like 42. Okay. My sister is like 44 years old. Okay. My mother is like 71. Okay. My father is 75. You miss them? Sometimes really I miss them. You miss India? Mm. To be very, very honest, no. no. <laughs> like all of us. <laughs> what do you miss? Your childhood? Much, yeah. My yeah. schooling days and everything. And your friends? Oh, yeah, a few of them. But we're still in contact and everything. So nowadays, okay. all these apps and everything are there. Like you We can really, talk, yeah, yeah Skype. Yeah, don't and... really miss them, though. Okay. <laughs> authorities have blocked refugees from entering Budapest's main train terminal in an apparent attempt to prevent them from heading towards Austria and Germany, despite letting others travel onwards just hours earlier. About 1,000 people were gathered outside the capital's main international railway station on Tuesday morning, with many heard shouting Germany, Germany, where they are hoping to travel. Well, as you say, um, the police have told us that up to 50 dead bodies were discovered on the A4 motorway in the easternmost province of Austria, Burgenland, which borders Hungary. Now, they're saying that they, the migrants were most probably suffocated, although they haven't given an official cause of death as yet. Um, they were given a tip-off, as you said in the introduction, by some people who are working alongside of the motorway there. Um, unfortunately, this isn't the first of these kinds of incidents in Austria. Amnesty recorded a new record death toll of over 2,500 people within the first nine months of 2014 in the central Mediterranean. German Chancellor Angela Merkel has come under fire for her handling of the issue facing Europe. 